In this video, we're going to talk about one of my most profitable and safest swing trade strategy. And before getting into the strategy, we need to understand few terms. The first one is float. Float is basically the number of shares that are available for a company to trade. Let's take for example, the float of Apple is 10. That means Apple has 10 shares. Each share represents 10% of the company. 10 shares was just an example. In reality, it has 16.79 billion shares. The second term is short float percentage. Short basically means you make money when the stock price goes down. If you first sell, then buy. For example, a short float percentage of a company is 10%. That means, for example, on the Apple case, one share of Apple is shorted. 20% means two share of Apple is shorted. Let's take for example a company have 10 million shares, 50% short float, that means 5 million shares of the company is shorted. And the last term that we need to understand is short squeeze. Short squeeze basically happens when a company have a high short float and the stock price is going up. And when a stock price is going up, shorts need to cover positions because they are in loss. But when people are shorting, they are first selling before buying. And when they need to cover positions, they are buying the stock. This is exactly what's happening. When the stock price is going up, shorts are covering, covering, buying, buying, which creates this short squeeze. Two famous examples on short squeezes are the first one is 2008 short squeeze on Volkswagen. And the second one is on 2021, that crazy GME that pushed over 1000%. So now you understand what's a short float percentage and what's a short squeeze, I'm going to tell you the patterns and which kind of stocks we're trading on. The pattern that we're trading on is bull flag and the ascending triangle. And here's why. So we're trying to find good companies which have at least 10% short float. And on these stocks, we're going to search the bull flag and the ascending triangle pattern. Here's the bull flag pattern. It's basically the stock price going up and moving between a support and resistance. So on a bull flag, we're betting the stock price will go up. Basically on a bull flag, you should buy at the breakout. So when it breaks the resistance, that's where you need to buy. But why we need to buy when it has a high short float? Because breakout traders will get in and shorts will start covering. That will create a massive buying pressure. So with the, all this buying pressure, the shorts and the breakout traders, that's, this will create a short squeeze. And of course, we're trading this on a daily or one hour time frame. The second pattern is on an ascending triangle. Same analysis, you buy at the breakout, it will create that buying pressure. On a daily time frame, some trades can go more than 100% in few days. We'll show some examples later. And now you should understand why it's very profitable. Because once it does the breakout, the buying pressure will be much higher than regular breakouts. Because you have the high short float and the breakout traders are getting in. So now I'm going to show you some examples and how to let your winners run on this strategy. Okay, so here's some example. I said in the chat room to buy NK at 21.01 .01, and I said this is a perfect setup. So as said, NK have more than 10% short float and you can see here it's forming this ascending triangle. It formed a perfect ascending triangle and the breakout was at 21.01. .01. So I was waiting perfectly to buy at 21.01 because once it breaks, the breakout traders will get in and the traders who are short will start covering their positions because they know this pattern, it's a pretty good that it should be bullish. So after it broke 21.01 and we started buying, it started to push and it did a massive 100% move after 10 days. Check. It made almost 111% move and I don't know if it will push more or not. So you can see the power of the strategy. The power of the short squeeze plus the breakout. And there's many 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 other trades like this and no one talks about. Because those are not stocks like GME everyone is talking about basically. Now we need to get into more depth on the strategy where we set our profit taking, our stop loss, everything. So here's a stock price that formed the bull flag and we need to buy at the breakout. So you can set a buy stop order at the breakout. But where are we going to set our stop loss and profit taking area? 
After extensive backtesting, I found that the best way is not to use stop loss and just sell the stock after 10 days because after it breaks, it does that short squeeze, the chance that it drops, it's much lower. So the best way that I found is no stop loss, sell after 10 days and set a profit taking area, a minimum profit taking area of 10%. I'll try to explain better. So this is the stock doing the breakout we bought. So after the breakout, the stock price is going up. So we don't set a stop loss and we set a minimum profit taking area of 10%. After the stock reached that 10%, we need to follow the 9 EMA line because the 9 EMA line follows a short term trend. So we use that as a stop loss. If the stock did a great move like NK that I showed you earlier, you can catch 100% moves using the 9 EMA line and just risking for example very little. So we're trading this on daily time frame and, and using the 9 EMA. You can use the 30 minute time frame and use 9 EMA and 21 EMA crossover for a sell signal. Okay so now let's jump into some examples so you'll understand the strategy much better. Let's take an example on ANF. I said to buy at 19.01. Okay, so at this point, ANF did the breakout and I missed the original move. So I said I was going to buy at the next breakout, which is at 19.01, right after here. So you can see ANF is forming, is kind of forming a bull flag here and the breakout is at 19.01. This stock had around 20% or 15% short float. So at the breakout, it started squeezing as expected. And it did, if we follow the 9 EMA line, this is on a 30 minute time frame. We're going to switch on daily. We would get around here. We would make 20% profit. So after it made 10%, I was going to take some profits, but I saw that it was forming another triangle pattern here, an ascending triangle pattern here. And it was again, a great buying opportunity. So I kept my positions, which made a squeeze. It had earnings and I sold uh, right at market open. So this trade almost took one week. If you're going to switch on a daily time frame, you can see after one or two months, it made better moves, around 50% moves. And here's some examples on SFIX and PRTS. So SFIX formed multiple bull flags here. You can see here and almost here. So I found the stock when it was around $32 area. And I said in the chat room, as you saw, I am going to buy at the breakout at 36.01. Why? Because it had a high short float and at the breakout, we might expect some squeeze. So at 36.01, we bought and it started squeezing. It made a crazy 50%, 45% move. And where you, we should have sold? When the stock price crosses with the 9 EMA line. So we should have sold here, but... I sold very early. I did not let my winners run. So this is really important to let your winners run. You should use the 9 EMA line to let your winners run on the daily time frame. So after doing the small push, the small 10% push, it got back to support, which is here, and it pushed more. So you start understanding my point on how to trade the stocks and how the strategy works. And later you can see SFIX had, an, had earnings and they made extremely well and it pushed the stock even $110. So you can't mess with the short float because once it gets squeezed, it's really hard to stop. Because 20 to 30% short float, imagine 30% of the shares available are betting against. So once the stock price, imagine 30% of the shares are being bought again. So that's a huge buying pressure. So you should never mess with the short float. Though, and that's why the strategy works extremely well. And this is the last example on PRTS. I'm going to show you this example to show you it's not always super clean charts. Sometimes it can be really choppy. Let's take an example. Here it formed the bull flag. I want to buy the breakout, which was here. 14.51 it was a bit early but yeah once it breaks this level i said that it can push higher so i bought at 14.51 you can see this choppy moves but at the end it did reach 17 which is or around 15% to 16% profit which is super amazing so if you want alerts like this you can join our chat room the link is in bio and of course if you want contents like this 
subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.